Hello, Nanagir. Welcome back to the fall of the Dungeon Guardians. So, last episode, we practiced our choreography with the Bone Dragon and found out that our dancing moves aren't quite so good as they ought to be. So, my general attitude was like, no, there was another door over here. Let's have a look at that door and then we'll come back to the dragon a bit later when we maybe have a little bit more experience and a little bit, a little bit more gear. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at this door. Yeah, there's no levers, nor locks, nor anything. We can't actually go through the door. So if you take a look at the map, this is where the dragon is. This is the, the pits where the spiders came crawling out of. We can't fly, so we can't move over there. And these and this door are closed to us. So the only way forward is through the dragon. So I think I just have to learn to dance fast. So here goes. Let's uh, pre-stack this one. Uh, skip this entire dialogue. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we just uh, fire all cylinders from the get go. Actually, we don't have any damage in the beginning, so just stack a soul eater. I mean, it does more damage over time, so it's good to open with that if needed. Uh, yeah. So this last stand thing, it's really a, a last ditch desperate effort because you borrow health and you lose the same amount of health. So it's, it's only useful for if our guy would normally have died to see if we can slightly protect the battle. So everybody has everything queued up. Uh, I think I already came to the conclusion to just do one shot and then a sniper shot we'll do with it then okay and let's just uh, interrupt the rips rather than the bites so a nice little dragon call of darkness okay so damage over time effects are stacking well, this takes a bit. We can maybe get one more cast off. But actually, let's uh, do the wise thing I did last time. Only have stack builders cast and let's not cast anything that wastes mana in this regard. Just use uh, regular attacks. Okay. Backpedal into this. Which I'm not. Okay. So rather than moving sideways and doing a, a curious twist somewhere along the road, maybe it's better to just take one turn and then backpedal because then there's no actual steering and no risk of moving in the wrong direction afterwards. So I think that's what got me killed last time. Okay, so let's uh, continue with renewed vigor. We actually dodged the rip. That's pretty good. Rip is a pretty evil move. So we'll queue up a sniper after this. We need to renew the damage over times. And then we go again. So it's a 12 second cooldown on the rip, so we can just interrupt the next one. So this one is currently casting, then we do one of these, then afterwards we do one more of these. And we go back, let's see, casting of almost 4 seconds and a cooldown of almost 8. Means most likely afterwards we can just cast the sniper shot again. Keep queuing these, and these. And life will be good. Okay, this is also falling off now. That was very good timing actually. So we can put it back on. I was sounding slightly doubtful because we are currently at full health on our warrior, but he is gonna take more damage. 
rip. Ooh, that's nice timing again. Interrupted. We go. Okay, Acid Fury. Okay. Also, let's uh, stop casting stuff that uses mana or consumes charges. You just continue building stick shots. We're running. I don't particularly care. Okay, we're fully charged up. Oh, this is this is not good. I had to be back before he was casting lethal fireball. This is not a good thing. Okay, so trying to dodge the fireballs also not a good idea. Oh god, why did I do this? Why did I do this? This didn't sound like a particularly smart thing to do. Fighting a dragon, that is. What's the cast time on this thing? Three seconds. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to make it today. Okay. Last stand! Let's see if we can tank this puppy. Oh, wait. Splash damage. Yeah, uh, oh, it was a F8 for quick load. Yes, let's try that again. So that's the that's the thing with this particular fight. One mistake and you're dead. If you start casting a lethal fireball, you're dead unless you have a kick or equivalent interrupt. Uh, uh, yeah, skip that. Don't want to walk that way. Already start out on this line. And we have one more dragon. Uh, yep, start out with a seal. Uh, put one of these on. One more of those. More of those. Oh. Oh, I should have interrupted the rip. Yeah, we'll do the next. But the rip is ticking pretty hard with the with the damage that it's currently doing. Okay, he ran out of things to cast. That's right, good for now since we got the call of darkness. Uh, you're out of things to cast as well. Um, yep. Okay, we turn back and then we just walk backwards. Grab it, and then we instantly go forward again. Okay, we are back in his face before he's done casting. So we can just queue up all the abilities once more. Uh, we probably want to start with a Soul Eater followed by more Soul Sucks. I mean, Soul Eater, it helps heal the healer a bit. Uh, means the off heals have more chance of going to the other people who actually need it. Uh, it's a good time to refresh all the damage over time effects. Shoot one more of these, then one more of these. I mean, we've got a two second cooldown and we can instantly cast the instinct shot, so it's a good one to do anyway. And go. Okay. Wait, I've got this this thing called critical vial, don't I? Let's uh crit you and ah uh, for the heck of it, just haste you as well. Actually, uh, Hasting might not be the best of ideas on him since his primary ability has a pretty nasty cooldown. But then again, it's weapon based. Weapon based effects actually are effect seem to be affected by uh, weapon attacks. So yeah, we can do it. We can do it. Yeah, damage per second went from 12.9 to 14.9, so definitely affected. Okay, so. Crits. Let's uh, put some crits on a warlock as well, and we might as well put a haste file on our warlock, just to get all the dots stacking and ticking and doing all their warlocky goodness stuff. There we go. Okay. And uh, once again, I forgot to kick a rip. Yes, that that was. A correct sentence. It sounds a bit weird. Kick a rip. We can uh, refresh all the casting abilities. Okay, let's see. Two of these, then another one of these. 
Bite, bite, bite. Bit of luck. That's a rip. Just uh, getting it all the way through to the end. Okay, how are our dots? Uh, probably by the time this one is done casting, it has will have been refreshed. Same for the Dire Plague. So let's just requeue the entire bunch. Okay, keep going. Acid Fury, okay. Interesting. DQ, DQ, DQ. DQ sniper shots, instinct shots. I don't particularly care. Go backwards, forwards. And we are back in his face before he has a chance to say, I'm gonna kill you with a fireball. Which arguably is the least of my f least favorite of the sentences he could say. Uh, let's do one of those, and then we go back. More of these, more of these. Are you still affected by the seal? No, you are not. Let's uh, re-affect you. Okay. Um, Go. Uh, seven seconds till we can interrupt this rip, so too bad. We'll just have to think it. Let's have another re evaluation of everything. Let's see, we got more stacks of this. Sniper's probably outbound. Over time effects, one more shadow ball, then probably we can do another cycle of these. Uh, let's uh, cast that, we'll see where this goes. Okay, so our warrior is pretty low on life, which is not really a good thing. Rip, we can interrupt this, that's very positive. Also, that bone dragon, it has way too much life left. There's not a lot to do here. Okay, we parry the bite. Okay, let's have another look. Uh, that one is being cast, that's on the way. Okay, we can just. Oh, we need more mana. Okay, mana we can always arrange for. You can always arrange for more mana. Probably time for another Shadow Ball. Or Shadow Darkness. Scary thing. Okay. So this has a 3 second casting time. This has a 10 second casting time. I can't risk sneaking one of these in, in between. Uh, same for this. Just clear all the queues. Uh, you can just keep building this stuff. That doesn't really matter. Okay, okay, we turn once, we run backwards, we grab it, we run forwards, back again before the dragon can say fireball. Okay, no dots on him, so, well, ex only the dire plague, so let's continue where we were. This one has a massive nasty cooldown, so let's just cast one of these, and then go back. And then uh, wait for his next rip and interrupt it. Ooh, that's very close timing. But I got it. So that shadow attack, 40 damage, 50, almost 50, 60. This is uh, slowly, slowly eating away at my life. Not, uh, not quite a fan. Also, this one is uh, ticking out in three seconds. Let's see, just uh, renew the stacks. Uh, I probably want to get one of these in as well at some point. Okay, our heal is back up. Or the seal is uh, down. Let's uh, get another heal back up. Okay, and 
Okay, we just shot one of these, so we just built stacks. After those, after those. Eh. How long does this have remaining? Three seconds. There's a bit of cooldown remaining. Let's uh, let's chain it this way. This way the dots might be applied by, uh, by the time we need to run away. For the next wave of EO. That's another rip. Bury the rip. I like that. Acid Fury. Oh, always fun. Well, we can just continue queuing. We continue queuing. DQ this. What's the casting time on this? It's very short. If we get one of these off, then we have a self heal for the medic. Also, you. Quaffer potion. You, Quaffer potion. You both need a lot of mana. So, Soul Eater. We can just uh, get that one in. All the damage over time abilities by you have been refreshed. Swallow the Shadow Ball. It's going to be useful later. Okay. Uh, he's been uh, afflicted with Soul Eater. Time to run like hell. Grab. Uh, we reapproach, and that's just in time. Okay. So our medic is at full health, and thanks to Soul Eater, that's likely going to remain that way. Because basically, Soul Eater can do a full heal. Um, 40 HP almost and it uh, heals for triple so that's 120 on a life pool of 144 so that's uh, that's pretty good which means I can use all of my remaining energy to just stay the heck alive which I would argue is a very lofty goal okay let's uh, lead with the shadow ball and then we just refresh into dots again Halfway there, and already the party is nearly falling apart. This is a tough, tough battle. And it's not like there are many other options. It's just the dragon, and there's the shrines. So for the rest, it's just going to have to be tanking the guy. Okay. Continue. I'm expecting a rip. Last moment, I should have actually just interrupted it slightly earlier. It was a very, very close call. Then again, no pain, no gain. Okay, let's uh, stack more of these. This is still going good. 12 seconds, that's two casts of these. If we reduce this down to two, then it might just kick in and I might notice or not. But always worth an effort. Okay, so that's been the refresh. That's cute. Let's kill more shadow balls. Potions are, uh, the, the mana potions are still refreshing, so I can't actually quaff more. Okay. Mana debuffs have been consumed. All the debuffs are gone now, which is good. Halfway through, nearly dead. Time for more blue potions. Very, yeah, let's actually lead with a sniper shot and then more of these. Actually do one of these and then a sniper shot and then we go back. Just pump it up slightly, slightly more. Uh, this one is ending, but I'm now I now actually see what's happening, so just uh, need to not lose focus. Okay, it fell off. Time to put it back on. I mean, we got 14 healing. That's good. Also, we are scary low on life. Really not liking where this is going. Um, Health file. Don't really like it, but I feel like I have no other option. Also, we can interrupt the next rip 
actually we just missed that that's probably why our life is now so low trying to pay attention to too many things and you're bound to mess up on at least one of them let's see this one needs a refresh this one afterwards then we just do a normal cast again call of darkness yep okay can we afford to really 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 would want to but mana is a severe issue this one is recovering so that's being cast or he just dodged it that's also possible Does make sense? No, this doesn't make sense because there's no need to recover our priest. Okay, dodge or turn, run back, tap it, switch back. Okay, so 2400 health, party nearly dead. Let's continue. Okay, so all the damage over time effects have fallen off. Let's refresh those first then. Um, yeah, lead with an instinct shot, sniper shot, then another instinct shot. Let's see how we can build this. Keep the kick ready for the next rip, which is bound to follow. This is the good time. There's a little bit of space here. Potentially wasting like 0 0.05 of a second, but this is close enough that it's still humanly possible to time it. Otherwise, it's more of a lucky thing if there's even less time. Okay, so that's a damage over time effect that we staved off. Okay. And this one still has 25 seconds remaining. That's good. Let's see. Let's uh, pre queue another mana potion for both of our casters. We really, really need it. Let's see. More of these. More of these. More of these. Twenty-six hit for every bite. I couldn't stave off that rip, but I think I dodged it, so that's that's also very positive. That's no damage over time effect, which means I might, might, might not die to this. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, so this Acid Fury is going to hurt everybody again, so probably just want to queue one of these up. It's only two and a half seconds to cast, so after this one is applied, I'm going to do the, the run up and down. That way the Medic is going to keep himself alive, no matter what. Everybody else is just on full stack building mode again. Okay, you are empty, that means you're just going to do a standard attack, that's fine with me. Let your cooldowns recover, let your mana recover. Um. Yes, okay, so our Soul Eater has just applied, that means our entire backline is now done casting. Hit it, we'll go back. Okay. Down to a quarter. Come on. This is also nearly ticking out. This is ready for the next rip. Okay, torment. By the time the dire pl the, the torment is done casting, dire plague should have fallen off, so we can just refresh, then follow up with the shadow ball. Let's see, eight second cooldown. Do another one, and then we do a sniper shot. And here, and I really need to keep an eye on the seal of necromancy. If I don't reapply it, that's going to be fatal. Also, that rip there. Okay, so seal of necromancy has been reapplied. Also, interestingly, he only gains 13 health. 
It's just shadow type or something. No, it's not. No, otherwise the the. I was thinking that that normally. Yeah, oh, if if it heals for fifteen and now only for thirteen, something has to cause that. Uh, for now, I'm not uh, asking too many questions about that. Okay. Get Rick. Rip. Kick drip. Okay. More soul sockets. We can do it. We can do this. Come on. Okay. Wow. He was actually secondary target for a while. Well, we lost quite some aggro with Gerald, of course. I mean, not real. Had this lovely soul eater just doing some damage and just being annoying. Same for the warlock with the two dots. Uh, Thomas is very good at just doing very spiky damage, which is uh, pretty annoying for a bone dragon, I suppose. It's only the warrior that bits. The damage falls off a lot quicker if you run out of combat for a little while. On the other hand, we still have the last stand. That's definitely an option if it needs to be used. Also, that one's being cast means we can just do uh, another two shadow balls, then probably another torment. Parry that one. Right. That's a rip. Can we interrupt? No, we cannot. Okay, that's that's unfortunate. Also, we will need another potion on both of the casters. This one is still ticking on. We can uh, restock, restock. This one is being shot. Just to replenish this. 55 HP. That's pretty decent with uh, a couple of extra shots. That's 18 bonus damage on top of the standard instinct shot if I have three charges up. Okay. That's gonna be a rip. Uh, we took it, but I think we detected part of it. The thing is, though, this is gonna stack. I mean, the rip is gonna stack with the bites that he's applying. That's why the, the health is dipping low. It's something I can work through, but it's not a recommended strategy to tank all of that. Let's see, this one is being queued. Then we can do that one afterwards. Down that one. Uh, those actually take one of these out then do one of those then go back because i'm expecting the dragon to throw another shadow ball hissy fit and we want to be ready for that okay we can interrupt the next rip let's have a look health situation okay so another off target heal side effect went on him so everybody is pretty decent if the shadow ball hits we can Take the splash damage, that's not going to be too much of an issue. Main damage we can tank with the last stand combined with focused healing. And the next rip we can uh, kick down. So, chances are not entirely desperate. Call darkness, okay. Uh, this one is still casting, so let, let it wear off. Let's not requeue any new shadow balls. Uh, DQ soul suck. You're probably still casting one anyway. Um, There's no point in putting soul eater on because your health is full. Let's, uh, and this one is in the queue. Let's uh, take it out. Just uh, do some regular shots for now. We'll just do more powerful sniper shot afterwards. Okay, let's see that this one uh, kicks out. Okay, that was the heal. We're up to 120 again. Okay, we turn, we run backwards, upwards. And okay, we're back in place to take this one full face tank value. Dive plague back up afterwards. Torment will be back. Then we do a shadow ball. 
probably want to kill one of these because it's going to trigger before the instinct shot just because the cooldown is better. So lead with sniper, then double instinct. To the seal, six seconds remaining. Well, in the meantime, we can just continue sucking his soul out. Also, we're out of potions, by the way. This is really the last, last of the last. <laughs> Okay, so two things to keep in mind after the, sh the, the Call of Darkness hits. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna kick this one in as well. I'm, I'm getting antsy about the, the life on this guy. So that's why we get a bit of a buffer. Uh, so we kick it in, we gained about 90 health, so we need to be above 120. Otherwise we die, uh, especially but basically just say after it wears off we need to be above 200, otherwise we have a severe problem. Okay, two things. The, the seal is going to fall off, which is problematic since I, I can't see it because it's underneath the portrait. And he's going to cast a rip afterwards because of the cooldown, so I want to interrupt that. Okay, so... Go. Good timing on the rip. Then we can focus on this one for seconds. One second. It fell off. Okay. Reapply the seal. Okay. That means we are good. Okay. So we're down to 30 health here, uh, 30 mana here. That's uh, an issue. So now absolute spell efficiency is going to be uh, the major concerning thing since this is just the last bit. And that means the Shadow Ball, fine as it might be, it deals less damage per cast. I mean, especially Dire Plague, it uses 2 mana less and, it, uh, and Dire Plague does 11 more damage. So that's going to stick. And same with Torment. They're both more efficient. So I'm only going to cast Dots now. Um, basically I only have one more cast remaining anyway. So that's... Uh, might as well. Okay, so... That's just going. Means Soul Suck. There's never enough Soul Suck. So what's the mana cost of this? 26. So I have two casts of that remaining and then we are out as well. This is gonna be very, very, very tricky. Can I deal 670 points of damage before I'm completely out of mana? Um, also, we have 14 seconds remaining before we lose 120 life there. Okay, yeah, you are out of spells, that's uh, that's fine. Bite, bite, okay, how are we? Eight seconds, 30 mana remaining. Yeah, it's gonna be Dire Plague for the next one, that's another 50 health. Well, that's 10% of what's remaining, that, that's okay. Let's see, queue up another three of these, then another instinct shot, make them count. Health is still pretty good. Come on, rip. Okay, that's gonna be painful because it's gonna keep ticking. Hope I dodge it. Hope I dodged it. Okay, so we should be in a good enough situation where if that one falls off that we actually don't die. Acid Fury, okay. Let's see, DQ this. Uh, just keep those queued. You keep those queued, it doesn't really matter. This one is almost done ticking, so after the Acid Fury we still have the rip to interrupt. Oof, this is gonna be close. This is gonna be very, very close. Okay. Um, I think you still have a soul suck casting. So okay. Uh, grab it. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Prepare for rip. Another soul sock. More of these, more of these. Actually, just uh, sniper shots. And then those, and then we put another dire plague on. But I think I think we got it. He's down to 150. If he doesn't insta wipe the party, we got this. Okay. Rip. Interrupted. Okay, 100 life remaining. Come on. Yeah, you are out of stuff to cast, but you don't have any mana, so it doesn't really matter what you think. Also, you got 70 mana. La mana regen on, on him is pretty good, actually. wasn't expecting it to be that good. Need to review that after battle. Hallelujah! We got it! Oof. <laughs> this is the toughest battle so far. Oh, quick save. <laughs> but there's also save, of course, for this. Also, there was a good way to get through all of the potions. Now I still got the stones remaining. <sighs> well, that was a that was a challenging fight. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm very happy that went well. <laughs> okay, gear. Something for you. And a talent point. What are we going to get you? Yeah, because we have this tier unlocked. Oh, this is interesting. The whole party has a 5% chance to restore 3% of its total mana anytime you do damage with Soul Suck and Soul Eater spells. And 3% chance when you do damage with your auto attacks. So that means our healer is gonna tick, 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 restore some mana. Let's see, 3%. That's basically 6 points. So there's a 5% chance of 6 points uh, of mana on him. And it's close to 9 points on him. So that's 15 points. There's a 5% chance of that. So that's roughly 0 0.75 mana per thing. But it does add up over, over time. And of course the Soul Eater. It ticks multiple times. I think it ticks about every second or so. And the soul suck is uh, uh, going on, and the standard attack is uh, going on. So this might be useful, especially if you bump it three times. Uh, one foot in both worlds, lower all damage to you by 5%. That could be nice if you were tanking more, but we already have a dedicated tank. So I think going with mana boostage is a better idea. Okay, so... The amount boosted is going from 3 to 7, and it's probably going to be 10. Well, that's pretty cool. This is going to be very, very, very nice. Okay, so level five necromancer. We got our gear. Oh, <laughs> what a fight! <laughs> what a fight! Okay, so next episode. We will investigate what's over there. But for now, this has been going on for long enough. So I thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.